Yeah, so we've worked with Allo and we're building uh, an AI teacher. And the story of Allo actually starts with my co-founder, Elizabeth, who was sat at home with her daughter, Lily, during COVID. And uh, yeah, Lily was struggling to learn to read on Zoom, which you can imagine is quite hard. And we discovered very quickly that the challenge that Lily and Elizabeth were facing is actually a massive societal problem. Uh, reading is the foundation of all other learning, right? You learn to read and then you read to learn. But the reality is that a lot of kids don't, right? Like even in the US, 69% of fourth graders are, are unable to read at level. And globally, there's about 250 million kids who, who just aren't in school. And so if we could solve this, we'll have checked off like one of the UN Sustainable Development Goals. So how do we do it, right? Um, well, Elizabeth is a clinical child psychologist, and she knows that the best intervention for doing this is one-on-one -on -one instruction. The problem is it's completely unscalable, but we, of course, believe that that's changing now. Right? And so our first product is an AI reading teacher in the shape of an elephant named Allo. And Allo basically listens to you read out loud, helps you when you get stuck, motivates you to keep going, coaches you for a tricky word, and inspires your love for reading. Uh, now, building this is had been pretty challenging. One of the big technical problems we had to solve is child speech perception. So we looked out there sort of, uh, you know, at what was like one of the best models that maybe could do this. And uh, we hired the folks who wrote the paper and now built the world's best child speech perception system. Um, and that's sort of the way that we like to approach technical problems, right? We like to try to find the best people in the world working on it, uh, the best technology that can, that can do it, and, and then put the pieces together. Um, so at this point, uh, you know, we, we've scaled relatively quickly. Uh, we've got tens of thousands of kids reading to um, their, their elephants, uh, close to a million books read. Um, but, you know, most importantly, you know, this just um, when we manage to turn a reluctant reader into an enthusiastic reader, we just get an incredible influx of feedback from from parents um, all, and now all across the US. And, and that's why we do this, right? Um, hopefully, I've persuaded you that, you know, we have some of the best technical ML talents in the world working on this. But that's matched up with equally impressive folks on the learning science and curriculum side as well. And there's nothing that those people are more excited about than, you know, scaling their own impact. Um, I've got two co-founders with me on this journey. Tom and I started a company uh, in edtech before. And, uh, you know, uh, we're a pretty tight-knit group. We, we care a great deal about each other. There's a bunch of um, us, at, you know, various offsites uh, in the world. We have a team in, in, uh, in Nairobi, in Kenya, where I started my last company. We're hanging out there. And this is the entire SF office attending my wedding last May. Um, so, you know, um, we, we, we like each other. Um, so what's next and, and why am I here? Uh, we believe that there's an incredible opportunity right now and there's going to be a race to put the pieces of the world's first AI tutor together and to end. Um, we just got a big uh, a injection of cash from uh, a very prominent unnamed billionaire uh, who, who agrees. Uh, uh, and with that, a massive distribution deal. Um, and uh, if you come talk to me afterwards, we can talk more about that. Um, but long story short, we're building a completely new type of app from scratch. Uh, and that app is uh, basically going to be the, the new version of Allo, where the AI controls the UX rather than the UX controlling the AI. And so we're particularly hiring ML engineers focused on that and people with, with an interest in designing for kids. So lastly, I'll just say, I've been working over uh, trying to work on socially impactful stuff um, since I'm like 17 years old. And I've, um, I found that there's sort of like three things I care about when working on big poems. Um, it's, you know, to do something that's actually technically interesting um, that has an outsized social impact with amazing people. And you usually find that you can get like two out of three of those things. And Elo was introduced the first time I managed to get three out of three. And so I've decided I'm going to hold on to that forever. Thank you so much.